friends, viewers, it's the 4th of February, and you know what that means, it's Brothers Review Show, or BRS if you prefer, 10th anniversary video, yes we finally made it everyone, on the 4th of February 2014, I started the reviews, and there's been like 60 of them I think, in total in the past 10 years, but this is a very special occasion, so I thought I'd review a set that I reviewed back in 2014. And here's one of them. The Emerald Knight, ladies and gentlemen, look at this amazing, beautiful set. It is my favourite Lego set of all time. Set 1194, and there is 1,085 pieces to be precise with this set. Yes. So, let's press some more time. And... Get the titles rolling! Welcome back everyone to the 10th anniversary review. Now here she is, the almighty, beautiful Emerald Knight. Look at this set, it is just absolutely amazing. Now, I haven't done a review in a long time, so yes, that's why I've chosen this set to review because would be my favourite, it should be quite easy to review. Right, uh, of course we start off talking about the box. It says Lego 14 plus set 10194 as 1085 pieces. We get a clear picture of the Emerald Night train, the locomotive and the single carriage you get. Now everyone wishes that we got another carriage for this set because two would be like the perfect amount for a set like this but no they just give us one but as you can see it is 69 centimeters long yep don't get any any naughty thoughts there but yes the locomotive the tender and the carriage and on top you can see all them lovely pieces look at all that oh yes and we've got an actual size of the reel as well on the side, we get another picture of the M1 Knight for the carriage. And we get the same picture as the front there. Now, on the back, it shows you can add this with power functions. Look at that. Yes, you can make the train go. And it has a, a light you can add to it as well. There's all the parts you need to make it go. You get three minifigures in a set, which are them three right there. So you inside the carriage. You get a few suitcases. You've got, got a few drawers here. You've got a cup of tea. And uh, she's drinking some water there. And it's uh, about as clear, isn't it? And the carriage has doors which can be opened. And they are brick built as well. And you get the firebox as well with a, a shovel inside the cab. And you've got the tender, which has doors that open. And there's some space in it to put some actual Lego brick coal in there as well. And it shows you that the roof of the carriage does lift off so you, so you can put the uh, minifigs inside the carriage. But, that said, that is the box. Right, it shows you the contents of the set. Now, here we've got the three minifigs that start off with the driver or fireman because you only get one minifig that can controls the uh, the locomotive which is unrealistic because you need two people to control a steam locomotive so really they should have given you two people so in other words they should have given you a driver and a fireman yes indeed so one person can drive the train and uh, the other person can uh, put coal inside the firebox. But yeah, this is with the uh, the driver. As a hat, as 
a beard and he's in his clothes because he is going, going to get very filthy driving this locomotive. So yeah, it's, it's a really basic minifigure really. So that's that. Next up, the conductor. Yes, tickets please, tickets. And he's obviously wearing a uniform. Because he works for the railway, of course. Collecting tickets. So he's very happy to do his job. I think I'd be very happy uh, collecting people's tickets and telling them no, they can't uh, be on board because you don't have a ticket. Or a ticket that can be used for this uh, locomotive uh, service. So, yes. So, yeah. I think he is probably the best one in this set because he's got more detail on his top than the others because this is the passenger very basic again she's very happy because she's on a fabulous journey and riding behind the old steam locomotive which looks like the flying scotsman which is what i think lego was trying to do here but they couldn't get the license for that name, so they have to call it the M1 Knights because it, look, it does look, look like an A1 or A3 class specific uh, loco. But yeah, so that's the pepper, that's the uh, passenger. And I do have the power functions in there at the moment, so to put them in, you have to take out these two things the firebox and uh, this way, we're by the dome. Uh, goes really uh, on the engine uh, because the the receiver goes where the well, well where this is basically and the motor goes where this is so yes yeah, so you've got a flame inside the firebox you've got a shovel and that door does close uh, so yeah it is a nice detail to have especially inside a, a steam locomotive so why don't we zoom in and we get a close look at the locomotive, tender and carriage. First up, the locomotive itself. So here she is, the almighty M1 Knight 10194. As you can see, that's a sticker right there, which is starting to peel off, but this set is old. <laughs> but um so yeah, they've named it. I don't know, they've, they've numbered this locomotive the same number as the set itself, because why not? And of course, the name tag is there, ML Knight, which is another sticker, and these are stickers as well. So is this 10194. Definitely like the Flying Scotsman as this. And it's in that same livery right now, is the Flying Scotsman in this, uh, like, BR green. But yeah, you've got two lights, which British look looking ones that have lights in this in the smoke box and on top of the smoke box. They're, they're usually side by side here at the bottom uh, where the buffers are. And you've got some pistons which do move, but I do have the uh, the motor in there, so they won't move easily. But there you have it. Look underneath, you can see all that clockwork and stuff, gears and stuff in there, which help it will help the motor to, to turn these wheels. Actually, all I knew is these battery wheels, which moves the rest. And that's basically it, really. The motor is in there, and the AI receiver is right in there, which helps the remote control to control the train. And you've got smoke deflectors as well, and you've got the funnel, and then you've got the whistle, and you've got the cab, which has the motor in at the moment. Uh, so yeah, basically everything you need to make it look, look, look like a steam locomotive, which is a very fabulous indeed. Oh yes, do, 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 do. <whistles> So yeah, moving on to the tender, which isn't much to... Look at really. LRTS. I guess that stands for Lego Railway. I don't know. 
Um, like the way train station. Nah. There'll be some someone who designed this set who came up with this and didn't tell anyone what, what it stands for. And we'll all have to keep on guessing. But yeah, we've got doors here which close, which is handy if you, if you want to keep the call in. Uh, but it's mostly open so that the fireman you can scoop up the coal and put it in the firebox. We've got the battery box here, and usually this is empty. Uh, but yeah. This is the rechargeable one, so you can charge it up and uh, have it going again. This one's, well, even though I've not used it in a long time, it's still got some charge in there. Uh, got some steps uh, to go up because you've got to put water in here. Because um, steam locomotives need more than coal, they always need water. Uh, wheels as well, you've got buffers at each side, you've got magnets uh, to attach it to the locomotive and the tender and that's basically it you've got just got a little light here it's a tail lamp uh and that's pretty much it yeah box standard tender i'd say and then you've got the carriage i love this little little, little detail here which is bricks by the way we've got some stickers here first and an lrts uh, same on the other side as well. So it's, it's, this is a first class carriage. I love these classic windows, which you rarely see in Lego sets nowadays. Uh, the roof looks, well, standard really, it's smooth. Uh, the main th attraction to this set is that smooth bricks, because when this came out in 2009, it was rarely. Uh, a thing was this to see the smooth bricks in a set it basically started around then but i think this set like fully kicked it off so yeah so but before this i'm guessing all this would be no bricks and stuff and not all smooth but you can open it up like that oh look at that yes and you've got four seats in there, you've got a couple of drawers there, you've got a couple there, a couple there, and you've got two suitcases which are in there and in there because it's the, uh, well, they are the suitcase holders, I, I, I assume. So, yeah, it's a bit basic, really. And you've got Two doors at each end, because if you had more of these, the passengers could, well, move about the train easily by, uh, yeah, through the doors. And, and obviously these doors do open, so when the train enters the station, and the station master will uh, open the doors up on the platform to let people on and off. So I could easily see this train approaching King's Cross Station, Platform 1. And going all the way to Edinburgh. But that is basically what you get in this set. So you do get some instructions, but at this moment in time, I do not know where they are. So, which is a bit unfortunate. But this is mostly what what you get. This is a path on the instructions. But yeah, this is all you get in this set. And this set is incredibly rare now, especially brand new. Uh, the price is like, I, I think, to buy a set brand new, it's about 700 quid. Used, it's 400 quid. I mean, this set has rockets in price. And it's, yes. But if you do have that cash, and are interested in picking this up, I'd say go ahead because it's an amazing set to have and I really enjoyed building it back in 2014. I can't believe it's that long ago now since I uh, built it, but yeah, and it's still in really good condition because I like to keep my things very well in great condition. Uh, but the box has seen somewhere, but that's what it gets for being up in the loft, I I'm afraid. 
So let's get back that to me. I really hope you've enjoyed this 10th anniversary video of me reviewing the Emerald Knight for the second time. I think it's better than the first time. Especially when I've come a long way since then. Um, but that's it, really. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who have watched me just unboxing, reviewing things throughout the 10 years. It's been amazing. And I've unboxed a lot of things now, and I've reviewed a lot of things as well. But the thing is, you'll never ever like figure out what I'm going to review next. I'd say the sky's the limit. Is the limit on this channel. That's why throughout the years I've been using Sky in the intro because I I really want to unbox and review anything I can. Could be Lego, could be controllers, could be consoles, could be basically anything. So, right now, you could hit subscribe under this video for more reviews, unboxings, reactions, and a lot more to come. And don't forget to hit that bell icon too to keep you notified when I upload a new video. And you can also share this video with your friends, your family, all over social media. Yes. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the BRS Fan Club. That link will be in the description below this video. And you can also like this video. Don't forget to do that. And you can comment down in the comment section below. Will you be picking this set up? It isn't getting old and it's not getting any more cheaper, I'm afraid. So... If you don't pay 700 quid brand new or 400 quid brand uh, used right now, you just expect to be paying a lot more in the future. But, sadly, that is the 10th anniversary over and done with. So, here's to the next 10 years of reviews, unboxings, reactions, anything. Come on. And to. Uh, Say farewell to this 10th anniversary video. You will see the, the Emerald Knight uh, puffing along on some track. After I say goodbye for now. <laughs>